Hey everyone, welcome back. Everyone's having a blessed day. All right, guys. So I uh, got another new torque wrench here for you. This time it's a Westward. It's a Granger store brand. <clears throat> Part number for this is 4DA96. Uh, I think the price for these, I'll I'll put it up there depending on where you get it from. But I think it's right around like $64, $65. Uh, also, this one here, I don't know if you guys can see that or not, it says foot pounds. This one does. 10 to 150 and then your newton meters just uh, you know, 13.6 to 2 203.5 it does come in this blue molded case similar to what you would get from harbor freight except this is blue um now it doesn't say anywhere where this uh product's made on the uh box or on the tool itself or any of the information but i went on their website uh these are made in taiwan and it also says that it's subject to change so same place as the Harbor Freight. They are also made in Taiwan. Uh, I'll give you guys an overall length of this as well. Uh, here's the ratchet. It does come with these uh, printed directions, air instructions. Uh, top to bottom, 18 and a half inches long. Uh, it does come with a black anodized uh, handle on it, which I do like, and it uh, has the painted numbers on there, so they really stand out pretty good. And then also laser etching for the uh, torque torque specs and for the foot pounds when you're setting that as well. Uh, it's not engraved, so if this does wear off, you will not be able to see it. And then also, this one does have a rubber plug here. In case you ever have to go in here to uh, calibrate it or anything else so it's got a plug there and then also a um, an e-clip here at the top if you got to take the head out and also it does have this rubber gasket to help from dirt getting down inside of it um, like I said it's not it's non quick release you can only torque this uh, one direction you can't do it in reverse so it only works in one direction and this is a 24 tooth count, so it is a very coarse ratchet. And it's the same as the uh, Proto Ratchets, where it has the uh, two single poles, or two separate poles with the spring. But like I said, we'll get that all open. And this one here has a Torx bit. I believe it's T T15. T15 to get this one over. Like I said, the only markings it has on it has the part number and then the westward like I said, laser etched into it as well. I did want to compare this to the Harbor Freight. As you can see, the Harbor Freight's a lot smaller. Or price wise, it's probably a third of the cost. Um, it does Harbor Freight does come with the polished uh, chrome, and it does have the stamped on there. So it uh, there's nothing to rub off, but it's like I said, it's kind of hard to see. And then also the uh, the knurling on it as well. The knurling on the uh, Harbor Freight one is a lot feels a lot more aggressive than the uh, one on the Westward like I said and I like the Westward because it has the painted numbers and the anodized so it's really easy to read that and also the laser etching is a lot easier to read but like I said these this is a roll stamp so it's easy Harbor Freight one you cannot take the head apart because it's uh it's pressed together and it also does not have it the o-ring but the head is the exact exact same thing here it has the, uh, the paws the, the two poles and instead of uh, Torx it has just regular screws on it so uh, very similar but uh, does have some uh, separate things here and also there once you peel this inspection thing off the, um, the, the set screw or whatever is under here as you can see you can kind of see it the indentation of it for the hole there to uh, set the torque on this one but I got this one here because I was uh, trying to torque down the motor bolts in my car and I was pulling on this thing uh, pretty hard and it wasn't clicking and I didn't want to uh, I didn't feel like calibrating it so like I said I might have got a different one so we'll go ahead I'll go ahead and we'll rip this top open just take a little peek inside then I'll go ahead and just show you guys just using it on the uh, car we're gonna go ahead and torque some uh, torque some bolts down all right, guys, we're back. I'm gonna go ahead. We're just gonna go ahead and crack this open real quick. As you can see here, with also the uh, the switch here, it is um, basically peened over once you put the switch on. So a rebuild kit for this, you would have to uh, grind or cut cut that off. Um, 
far as warranty, I'm not sure. I mean, it's a torque wrench. They usually don't guarantee uh, torque wrenches for life. Um, so here's the set, first set screw. Uh, no, uh, no Loctite, but like I said, these were uh, this was on there pretty tight. And here's the other one. Like I said, no Loctite on those. And then we're just going to go ahead and I'll just pop this uh Pop this off, nice uh, thick backing plate. It's probably about an eighth of an inch thick. And like I said, just like the uh, just like the Harbor Freight, you got the spring on either side. It's marked right or left. And then here's your uh, here's your anvil. And as you uh, sorry, as you can see, it does not come lubricated. It's very coarse. So I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna add grease to this before I put it back together. And then I'm also just gonna like I said, just gonna lube it up. I may even put a little bit of a uh, little bit of Loctite on these as well. Uh, but that's it, guys. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to put this back together. And then I'll come back. We'll uh, go to the car and we'll uh, torque these bolts down. All right, guys. So back to the engine here. Here's the cam phaser, the new one I got. Um, I made my own tool that I used. I didn't even use that piece that you need to uh, set it in there so that the teeth don't unlock. So uh, I made this foot rod here. Uh, with a, a tight little string to it, and that's the uh, one that you use when you go down here to release the hydraulic uh, tensioner from it. And then I just use the screwdriver on the side here where you would shove that UH and W, and I just bent, uh, push the uh, tensioner back up against the wall, and had somebody hold the tensioner back for me while I jiggled the uh, chain, and I, I got it lined up. I used an, uh, like I said, used an adjustable on here, and like I said, I just jiggled it on, got it back on. Uh, put this nut, uh, this bolt through here. I forget what it's called. Uh, something oil, something. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna tight torque that down to. Um, I think it's supposed to be 116 foot pounds. Um, I went to 114 or so just because I wasn't really the first time I did this. I wasn't real sure, so I kind of just took it to 100 and. Uh, 14 pounds, but it's supposed to be you know between 140. I mean, I've seen it in a couple different places where they had it for you know 114, 116. So I'm I'm gonna go with 114 just because that's what I feel safe doing. Uh, so there you go, as you guys can see, a little glare there from this light above. Let me see if I can get the like. There you go. So 100. And then uh, 110 and then uh, 14, actually a little bit past the 14. Now we're just going to go ahead and lock uh, can lock this down. And like I said, this is a 32 millimeter and the uh, the adjustable back on to this uh, cam here. And then we'll uh, go ahead and see if I can get her torqued down. Let me uh, go get set up and then we'll try and come back. All right, we'll see how good this works. Uh, if I have to, I'm going to get the... Uh, the wrench extender arm for this here. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can try and tighten this up without the wrench wrench extender. We'll see how good this thing goes. We can get it. See if we can get it to click or not. There we go. There's 114. So uh, I was able to get it. Uh, well, like I said this thing works pretty good. Well, like I said, we'll just I'll cut back and we'll just uh, finish going over everything. All right, everyone. So that's gonna go ahead and uh, wrap this video up. Uh, it works. So um, only thing I can do is uh, maybe we can try and check it, but I don't have my uh, my digital torque wrench uh, adapter. The battery's dead, so that would be the only way I would be able really to check it was be to uh, put set the torque adapter and set this and see how how close it actually is. But uh, it, it worked. It clicked, and that's what I was looking for. Uh, anyway, guys, like I said I hope this. Uh, video was beneficial to you uh, just hope everyone has a great day has a blessed day and just stay safe and, and uh, just have a good one guys take take care and god bless therefore go and make disciples of all nations baptizing them in the name of the father son and the holy spirit matthew 29 19 all right guys i know it can be a little daunting sometimes to uh go and share your faith with someone when i know that you don't do it a lot or you haven't really done it. Uh, the more you do it, the more comfortable you get sharing it with people. But uh, I just pray that uh, if this, if you haven't heard the word or don't know the word, I pray that you would just uh, seek Jesus, uh, read his word, uh, talk to someone, join a local church and just get to know him.
But that's it, guys. I wanted to say thanks and God bless. Have a great day.